in this tutorial, I wanted to cover a few things in regards to creating a daily work journal. Um, one being um, adding employees, new employees, into a into manpower and labor, and as and how we're going to handle temporary activity codes when not one's not available. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, first thing we'll do is go ahead and create the daily work journal by putting in the date, control D, the company, it's always that county, and then the crew is going to be the inspector himself. And yes, we'll load the employees associated with this crew. Okay, and now we just add a summary. Next, we'll click on the next tab, which is Manpower Labor. And not so many here. Okay, and the first thing we'll go over is um, adding an employee when um, one's not l listed. So let's hit Add Row. And the first thing you're gonna do is type in the first six characters, uh, the first three characters of the person's first name, and then the first three characters of the person's last name. And again, it, it's not showing here, so it'll ask us if we want to set up. We say yes. And the employee form loads. And notice how the code actually goes in there by default. And please, whatever you do, don't put the individual's entire name under the code. What you want to do is actually, um, the code or the display name, what you want to do is put in the person's first name, and then go to the last name, and then mark them as active. Next, you'll want to put in Sac County as the company, tab out, and then the crew that it, they're going to be associated with. In this case, we had Victor Pierce. And then always put in a trade. The trade is basically the job that they do. Um, we'll say this person's a carpenter. And then the classification is the classification of that job. Is he a journeyman? Is he an apprentice? Is he, um, let's just say, apprentice in this case. And then once you've entered that information, uh, just click on the subcontractor tab and then select the company that the person is with. Once you've entered all that information, all you do is hit save, and it'll generate the display name for you. And once you've saved that employee, go ahead and hit close, and it will pre-enter the employee into the employee field. Okay, and the next thing I want to cover is how to um, how we're going to handle these temporary temporary activity codes when one is not available, um, and we want to go ahead and create one. So what I've done is actually loaded um, temporary uh, activity codes that we can use prior to um, finding the actual permanent uh, activity code that's going to be associated with this project. Um, the main thing is you want to do is make sure that you go contact. Uh, you, uh, the person that's in charge of uh, holding the log of the temporary IDs because we want to definitely keep track of those temporary IDs uh, so that they can be updated at a later time. Um, so what you want to do is request for the next available activity code that's available from the person in charge of that uh, log. So here's how we'll load that activity. Um, we just click add row and then we're going to hit the drop down to select the activity filler. And I apologize, it does take a little while because there are a ton of names in here. And then all I have to do is hit A, C, and take the first, the first available activity filler. Now as we, as we go across here, you'll notice that it already puts it in as a trade and then you can actually select the activity. Okay, now associating the temporary ID, now they, they have been preloaded, so all you have to basically do is, again, just like normal AS1234, they're the PMO ones, and just search for the PMO, the AS PMO. And then again, you want to verify what the, the first available one is, so contact, again, contact the person in charge of that log, and then you're just going to select that. And then tab all the way down to the notes and then type in what that job basically was.
Okay, and then once you've entered in the description of that activity or your notes for that activity code, um, basically you're going to make sure that you log that in the log. That's um, there's a spreadsheet that's going to be held uh, in the in an office where you will actually log what you what that job was. Um, so you'll find out the activity code, put in the date, and you'll add in this information that you typed in here into that log. And then finally, what you'll do is to complete out the daily work journal is click the reported by, <coughs> select the inspector, well, it wouldn't be your actual name, and then you would actually select the actual work package that you're working in, and then hit save, and that's it. And if you have any questions, please contact me and let me know um, if you come up with any issues or you have any um, questions about the adding the employee or um, using the temporary ID. Okay, uh, thank you very much. And that concludes our tutorial today.